Sup Broskis, it's Broski Place here. I want to talk about something that I think is pretty important right now. And that's the fact that there's a new game coming and there's a lot of people that are really, really toxic right now in the gaming community for a specific game. I'm talking about Cyberpunk 2077. Yesterday, the game got delayed by CD Projekt Red for reasons that had to deal with optimizations uh, made towards the consoles where Cyberpunk is going to be released on. I'm talking the PS4 Pro, the PS4, the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, the Xbox One X, Series X, and so on and so forth. Many people have been really disappointed by this news and I, I get that um, it's definitely really sad and you should be disappointed because this game has been um, has been like in development since 2012 which is pretty long like it's really insane it's been in development for eight years now it has already over overgone like a couple of generations of gaming but still, the situation is kind of getting out, out, of, uh, out of hand right now. Because uh, loads of people are really disappointed. And I'm not talking about uh, that they're complaining. No, I'm talking about sending death threats towards the developers of CD Projekt Red. Now, we all know that Cyberpunk is going to be an ambitious game. There's no doubt. This game will probably be one of the most ambitious games of uh, this gen or next generation probably this generation because there will probably be even more ambitious games in uh, the years to come because of the power of the ps5 and the xbox one x but that doesn't mean that you can just do stuff like send death threats however i can understand why people would send death threats because I have been in sort of the same situation. I know how it is to, to like how it feels to um, accidentally say something without realizing the consequences. Because uh, let's be real, this person doesn't want to kill any developer. He doesn't want to burn them alive. He doesn't want to destroy the family. This has this is all a case of over emotional uh, responses right there like this guy that sent death threats he's basically so disappointed and he doesn't know how to uh, deal with his emotions that he basically raged and he basically gone all in on the developer of course it's not right to do it I'm not defending his behavior I'm just saying that I can understand why he will do something like this like I can't understand it there are people like, there are people in the world that are impulsive including me I I sometimes do stuff that I regret later on as well sometimes people have no control over their emotions and many people just don't understand that people like uh, like uh, this person are probably just um, really emotional and really uh, like really passionate about the situation uh, at that moment like um, but still I, I still don't I still don't correct or I still don't approve the behavior that has been has been caused by this person or by these kind of person by these kind of people still there are people out there that have um, kind of took a week off or a day off for this game in, at one point I can understand this because I mean it's a great game it's a game that needs a lot of attention a lot of um, a lot of your time but on the other hand there is a pandemic going on right now people can't even go to their work so I don't know why you should actually like like uh, get a week off because you will probably not even have to go to work because everyone will be in lockdown by the time this game comes out. And I'm not joking. I am 100% sure that this will happen. Because the virus is just still going strong. And there's still stuff happening. Like, why do people think that work is still an option? 
in at the end of this year like it will definitely not happen but there are other things as well going on here first of all i do agree that cd project red should have better communication between the two different social like social media teams like for example um what basically what happened was that uh, the social media team of CD Projekt Red who um, maintaining the, C the Cyberpunk 2077 account on Twitter um, told, uh, told the uh, community that the game will 100% come out on the 90th of November and sure that is great uh, that you give your fans confirm confirmation but what they probably didn't know was the fact that um, the other side of CD Projekt Red who are actually located in Poland and not in uh, probably the, the place where the social media team is they t uh, they got uh, uh, they were discussing the fact about delaying the game because um, you got you got to understand that this developer this development team CD Projekt Red it's a really um, how do you say it's a they they are loca located in Poland, but they are the developers are like all over the world. There are people that work in the social media team. There are people that work in the developer team. There are people that work in the marketing team. And because of COVID, a lot of these um, kind of a lot of these sectors don't have great communication because of the fact that there is no way of telling them face to face. And this is also the reason why Cyberpunk got delayed so many times now. It's because of the pandemic. When a um, when a pandemic pandemic um, happens, loads of developers have to work from home. Now, if you have a huge team like Cyber like uh, CD Projekt Red that work on a game as ambitious as Cyberpunk, that means they have to have uh, like apps that allows them to share files they cannot like check out uh, their developers work like normally a developer in their workspace can ask their boss or their uh, PR manager or anyone uh, what they think of their work they can just walk around and look at their work now that's not possible they need to scan like uh, plan a team meeting they have to plan something like a, a like a, a streaming showcase or something like that that's all stuff to consider when you are a developer and I can tell you that because I have been in in such an environment it's not easy to develop a game with a huge crowd when you are disconnected from each other in real life it's really difficult and that tends to bring loads of problems and that's also the reason why loads of games and loads of movies are getting delayed all the time this year it's because of the disconnection between the developers and the other teams that's really important and I think we shouldn't really blame uh, CD Projekt Red for this this problem I know it's bad I know it's not right to say stuff like yeah it's coming out on the 9th of November it's it's going to be 100% and tell it to your fans that's not like that's not that's not a good thing to do but they honestly didn't know they honestly didn't know because I saw a Twitter uh, a tweet from some Twitter account that had a check mark so it's probably uh, legit and he told uh, he told everyone about that um, the email that had the information that's also the same uh, information that was on the yellow page was basically sent to every single developer at the same time as the public so that means that the developers knew about this news at the same time as uh, as we as we the community so yeah it's it's just a really difficult situation right now and I feel these developers should be praised for their work I know they have done crunch I know that they have put so much hours so much work and and basically overworked their employees I know that but you need to remember that this game is so ambitious and requires so much work it's like um, if you remember GTA 5 that game took five years to make it, it was delayed a couple of times but that game became one of the best games of a generation because 
when you have to imagine if you create a game like cyberpunk it isn't just making the game like it's not possible like you cannot just make the game in a couple of years these kind of games require so much work if you want to like make a game like an rpg that has all sorts of elements like like uh, decisions um all sorts of different stuff to do there are different systems in the game there are different uh, uh perks classes you all have to do all that stuff and make sure that it's bug free that there are no issues no glitches and that there are no um like major issues that will like hinder the the gameplay experience which is kind of the, the thing about um cd project red they started off with the witcher and the witcher was a great way of um, starting off because they had source material now they still do the same thing with cyberpunk now because of the they are using the cyberpunk story like the pen and paper game uh from the 90s or 80s i believe so they still have some sort of reference but they have to do a lot uh, by themselves they don't have like a huge novel series to rely on like for example the witcher the witcher had this huge novel series that was previously done already um, so they could just use source material from that um, for that novel you know but right now they have to like um, imagine loads of stuff for cyberpunk they have to uh, basically fill in the gaps by themselves they have to do the stuff by themselves it's not like this company has um, a lot to rely on so that also that is also the reason why this game is taking a lot longer than normal because there is so much creative creative pro process going on with this game and it's such a they want to create such a um, live uh, yeah lively world that you need to put time in that like you need to put like time in the details time in every single part of the game and if you do something like that you have to like take your time for it i know the quote by um uh, shigeru miyamoto which is the creator of one of the like probably the best game series of all time mario and he told everyone that um, a rushed game like a, a delayed game is better than a rushed game will ever be it's not probably the same kind of quote i'm saying here but the standpoint is the same we all have to remember that delayed games are probably always coming out as the best games there are some instances that where it isn't the case I'm talking about Duke, and, Duke Nukem Forever I'm talking about um, some of those games that were so hyped back in the day like I'm talking about uh, Half-Life Alex, which turns out to be a great game at the end but was planned to be like Half-Life 3 or something you know um, there are just so many um, stuff to consider when creating an ambitious game like uh, cyberpunk and i i still applaud uh cd project red for taking such a huge task like for like you only the, the, the funny thing about cd project red right now is that they only created the witcher series they never gone off the witcher series so they were always used to the fantasy rpg kind of setting of course they know how to make rpgs now but for them to just basically change their entire comfort zone from um a fantasy setting to a sci-fi setting is a pretty bold move for a company and I, I really applaud it because that's a really brave move um, when you are like capable of doing such a big change and now the thing is now that it's getting delayed for the for the third time already or fourth time I think it's third time I'm not sure but um, the problem with that is that now everyone will basically tr like like uh, put an hourglass on every single part oh no not an hourglass a magnifying glass on every single part of this game when it comes out like if there's one thing that they don't like they will bash the game and that's not fair there are no games in the entire universe that will ever come out in this like probably this uh like uh, the couple of hundred years to come that will have no bugs Every single game will still contain bugs. And Cyberpunk will be no exception to that. And I know, they say that they're going to try to make the perfect game. But a perfect game is still a game with bugs. It's still a game with issues. 
there are people that will have specific issues. There are always people that have exceptions in their field. Like they have um, exceptions when it comes to um, their platform. The, they will have errors. And I feel that CD Projekt Red shouldn't be bashed for this. And I know that it will still happen. There's probably going to be a huge toxic gaming community war that's going to be happening once this game comes out. Like there will be a group of people that will basically support the game, but they will they will tell everyone that uh, it's the perfect game and no one should like bash it. And it's going to be the group of people that would just hate the game, say it's overrated, say it's overhyped, that it's not living to expe expectations. It's kind of like the same thing that happened with Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, it, now that I remember, because the situation back then was that um, Game Freak um, basically took out the Pokedex. People got really mad, like everyone got so mad. It was so toxic. Um, when the game came out, lots of people were saying that it was over high, that, that, they, that they just want to make money, that it was not for their fans. And when the game itself was still pretty good, it's just... When you are making a game that is ambitious, like for example, Pokemon Sword and Shield had the open world kind of area. And if you want to do that, you have to make sacrifices. Every developer has to make sacrifices when creating a game. It's not, there's no game in the entire world that has every single thing that was planned for, for the game in the beginning. Because that will make a game unbalanced, um, and a game has to have some sort of um, direction that it wants to wants to uh, face. You know, it, it, a game always needs to have some sort of um, balance between the different mechanics, elements, and everything. So, for example, if I have a game where I can shoot bad guys, but at the same time I can also um, basically uh, do cooking or have um, horror elements, that doesn't work. Because I'm making an action game. I'm not making a horror game. I'm not making a life sim. You got to, um, you got to know that I, when you choose a specific genre for a game, you got to stick to the mechanics of that genre. Of course, you can always go a bit out of the box with the mechanics. Like for example, you got games like um, uh, let's just say. Uh, the Binding of Isaac, for example, that has like stuff like uh, twin shooters, or like like different mechanics from different games. You will always have that. That's not an issue. It's that there are some there are ideas that will come out of developers' like brains that are probably or too ambitious or impossible to do or just a great idea but poor, horrible in execution. And um, I feel that Cyberpunk is definitely a game that had a lot of amazing ideas that they wanted since the beginning of development, but that were not well executed when it was put into code. Because you got, you got to remember, an idea is great when you have an idea, it's always good to put, like, it's always a good feeling when it's finally executing code. But not everything can be executed in code, like, not everything can be changed into code, cannot not everything can be um, kind of converted into an actual game idea that you can actually play and that can happen. There are st we are still limited by some sort of boundaries. And that's good because that will allow our brain and our mindset to be a lot more limited and a lot more creative because we have to try to tackle things in certain ways. But still, Going back to the topic of uh, the delays, I feel that this game will come out. It will come out the 10th of December. Lots of people are saying, oh, this game is not coming out on the, on the 10th of December. It's going to be delayed to uh, 2077, <laughs> which is just a pretty, uh, I mean, stupid joke. Come on, let's be honest. This game has already gone gold and they have explained what gold means. It means that the game is finished, but that they're still making uh, the content for the day uh, zero patch, which is understandable. There are no games uh, in this generation that are finished once they gone gold. Maybe in the era in 2003 and four, you know, the time when the game was finished and there's no more updates. 
obviously they're gonna have a day zero patch and they have to make this game work for all systems because imagine this you have a ps4 and your friend has a ps5 you both get cyberpunk uh for both of your consoles now get this you are playing the game and suddenly you get a huge crash like your game crashes instantly after a certain point in the story you lose all your save files and you basically are screwed while your friend has no issues whatsoever because yeah he basically has a more optimized system and yeah he just has fun playing it this is a great um, explanation of what is happening with the game right at this moment the next gen uh, consoles are currently working as intended for CD Projekt Red however the current gen consoles are currently having problems with cyberpunk and if like for example if CD Projekt Red releases cyberpunk on the 9th of November with these issues in mind people will be so pissed and they will be even more pissed than when they delay the game and then they will say to everyone you shouldn't have you should have delayed the game you know they will tell everyone or tell the developers that they should have delayed the game and now that they're delaying the game people are mad it's it's really really um incredible in in a bad way like really it's just mind-blowing how people are so selfish these days when it comes to i want this game and i want it but at the same time i also don't want it to be bad but they don't know the consequences of making a game like people don't know what what is really happening behind the scenes of making a, a game it's it's not it's not as easy as you think it's not like uh, back in the day when you were on your commodore 64 and you could just like program a game and you could sell it that's it now when you make such an ambitious game as cyberpunk you will definitely deal with loads of problems loads of bugs loads of testing loads of debugging loads of so much stuff it's it's basically a game that some people think it will never come out but this is the thing we have seen so much amazing footage for this game and when you see footage like gameplay footage of a game that means that a game is ready like that the game is actually being worked on and this this is why cyberpunk is different from other ambitious titles like for example you've got this title that came out a long time ago it was called um, um, identity it was a game uh, like a huge MMO it was a game where you could do whatever you want it was like real life and the developers were really open about what's happening about what's going to be added but that game never really became the game that they planned to do because they were too ambitious in their scope and it was from a developer that no one heard of that no one had experience from that no one basically like it was such an unknown developer that just suddenly came with the idea of making this game and this is a big problem in game development these days there are loads of people that have such an ambitious idea and then they execute it really poorly because they thought that they could make and their dreams come true they could they thought that they could make their dream game while in reality they basically destroyed the execution and they made one of the poor games of all time and that is not the case with cd project red because cd project red is such an well established um developer team even though they only made the witcher they did a real good job with the witchers um the witchers um develop like the development of the witcher and the whole game execution is really good and that just shows some examples of why uh, cd project red is capable of doing something like this and why they are taking so long why it's taking them so long to uh, create cyberpunk now, I've been rambling about this game for a long time now and I just want uh, to, to make the thing a little bit more clear for everyone. Don't hate on developers. Developers are just people like you. They have feelings, they have emotions, they just want to make the best game for you. They are probably also there for the money. I mean, it's a commer commercial company. It's a company that has been that has stocks on the market cd project red is known to have stocks on the market um and it's but they do it for the consumers like you have to realize that this company is creating a game for eight years now just to bring out for you it's, it's kind of like the same thing as someone that has been 
preparing a a surprise for you like it's preparing something like a surprise for you and it takes them eight years they do it for you they don't do it for themselves of course they can make money out of it but they take their time and they put so much work and effort in this and even crunch their way out like they even go over work just to make this game a reality because this is probably a game that those developers always wanted to make it's their dream game it's why they are so passionate and so happy and so glad that they are part of this development and this is also the reason why cyberpunk is such a unique game it's not a money a game made by a money greed company like ea or ubisoft or Bethesda that is just made to uh, destroy your wallets it's not a game that has been created just to just to disappoint it's not like a fifa or call of duty that has been the same every year this is a game that we have haven't seen in a in a long time it's a passionate passion project that you normally would see from companies like indie developers it's something that um is basically how can you describe it it's it's kind of a manifested dream a manifested developer's dream it's kind of um how do you say this it's the physical representation of someone's dream game and we have to respect that we have to respect that cyberpunk is is a game that is actually someone's dream game that is actually some the developer's way of showing yo i just created the game that i always want to make that no one ever tried to make because it was too ambitious too difficult but we managed to do it we managed to make the game that we wanted to make and of course there are many people that also want like the idea of cyberpunk obviously but i'm 100 percent sure that this is a game that developers themselves want to make and not something that they made for the people i think nobody have said to cyber to cd project regular uh, and s gave them a suggestion like yo cd project Red, can you make a game where it's like sci-fi and where they're like uh but it's like uh, you you can shoot stuff and, and then it's like you have uh, cybernetic uh augmentations and stuff like that I, I probably don't think so i think this is definitely an idea from the mindset of the developers themselves it's such a unique um unique game that's so ambitious but at the same time it's something no one has ever dared to try the only one that i can remember that tried a little bit in this kind of type of game is probably the dois x series the yeah, yeah that's probably one of the few games that has a bit of an like inspiration from it maybe even the shadow run series on the snes but it's it's so much more than that this game will probably blow everyone everyone's mind it no no probably it will and i know that there's so much hype going on about cyberpunk and i can understand that because we humans have never seen an ambitious game like this before especially in this day and era when game developers tend to rush their games try to make as much money of them as possible it's a breath of fresh air to see a developer taking all their time for their project all for one reason and it's to make a game that they want to make and what they think gamers always want to to uh, make or not to make to um, to experience all right, I'm gonna end this video here. It's been a long um, discussion. I tried not to use a script. I think I did a pretty good job because I didn't make any like, like kind of uh, grammar mistakes, which is pretty nice because I'm trying to uh, move on with scripted from scripted content, which is pretty difficult because I'm still having that language barrier, the, you know, the, the non-native language barrier because there's still, you know, there's still people that know about my heritage i'm dutch obviously i'm not a english speaker who speaks english daily who is actually speaking english to their family no i'm actually a dutch person but i always try to get myself really familiar with english and so far i've been doing a really good job with that um however if you can notice my accent be sure to show it in the comments i really like it when people 
like uh, knows my accent probably the dutch people will definitely know my accent because my accent is still not like 100 perfect i still have that little bit of dutch in me and i tried to remove that but hey um anyway i want to thank everyone for checking out this video and i want to wish you guys all the best of luck for the upcoming weeks for cyberpunk's um kind of wave i hope you all have loads of games to play there are definitely loads of games coming out in november i have my birthday on 20th of november i'm also going to be streaming watch of legion today um because i'm going to be getting the game and i'll be streaming the entire journey of this story mode um and yeah um i'm really looking forward to cyberpunk just as much as you guys but just keep it easy okay these developers are also just people and they just want to make the best game for you anyway um you should like the video subscribe if you are not yet and um give me a close to place and have an awesome day and stay roadski